So real quick before this video starts, you guys, I just wanted to tell you guys kind of how this video is going to go. First off, it's going to go back like three months ago to when I originally bought this boat. And I still think it's the best boat you can buy for around $300. It is insanely good. So the second clip is of me catching a master angler smallmouth. And if you guys don't know what that is, every state kind of has these, these weights and these lengths of each fish. That if you catch one, you're supposed to be able to send a picture in and get a badge for it or whatever. But I'm not going to do that. But anyways, it's really rare to catch one of these master angler things. And I did it. So I'm very excited about that. Hope you guys enjoy. Cut to the video. Hi there, everybody. I'm Steven with Try It Outdoors. And today, I bought a little something special. So instead of buying a fishing kayak like so many YouTubers do, or I guess fishermen in general, I bought a, a blow-up rubber raft. So this is called the Colorado 9-foot high-capacity pontoon boat. It's pretty fancy. The idea being it's much more uh, portable and uh, easier to move, I guess, than those big bulky kayaks. And for my car, it works really good. So I ended up finding this on Craigslist. And we got a pretty good deal for it. And it's brand new. The guy never used it. So here's what it looks like when it's going to be done. It's got plenty of compartments. You can put an electric motor on the back, that's something ideally you do eventually. But for now it's got paddles on the sides and plenty of storage everywhere. So I thought this would be a great option uh, for maneuverability and storage. Wow, yeah. that is nice. This is the throne right here. So this is a lot bigger than a kayak. It's going to be a lot more comfortable and a lot sturdier than a kayak for sure. So the frames are really strong on it so far, and it's very uh, good material from what I can tell so far. So this is a very strong canvas right here. Um, so that's going to be good if you know if you accidentally get a hook in it. Hopefully I don't, but uh, that's good to see um, rather than just a rubber exterior like the bottom of it. Even though the, the bottom is still a very strong rubber. So one immediate disadvantage we found is that uh, it doesn't come with a pump. It comes with this nozzle. We actually have basically a drill that pumps the air through, so we're all right with that. And we got to top it off with a pump that comes from our cable. So if you guys haven't seen that episode, check it out. We used it all in Florida. It was it worked really good fortunate because we have the pump from that so this ends up working but that's just something to know if uh, you guys get one of these for yourself all right so we got the tubes done now we just got to put the main frame together <laughs> it won't go down take its form now. It's got a sweet anchor rope that runs through all the way to the back and it goes to this pulley right here which is attached to that bag that you can fill either with rocks or I'm probably just going to put an anchor on it. So it locks automatically. I just throw my thing off, you know, pull it up, make sure it's out of the cleat and then the cleat locks so it stays right in place just like that. It's really nice. Uh, that plate on the back there is for a Minn Kota motor or whatever I guess little trolling motor, electric motor you want to use. Alright, so I came up with a name for it. This is the final form, by the way. It's going to be called Dilly Dilly, referencing dill, two dill pickles and the Bud Light commercial. Possibly one of the greatest commercials of all time. Okay, so we got storage all through here. Um, we got uh, cup holders, and we got more storage right here. We can uh, measure the size of the fish right here, which is actually pretty handy. Um, this is in inches and then centimeters, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, can't, you, there's carrying space all under the chair. Then we got the oars sticking up to the side, and we got the one rod holder they sent us. Now, I'm going to work on a project here. I'm going to make a couple rod holders I can put right here for extra poles. If I want to bring both of my bait casters or a bait caster and a spinning rod, that works really good. 
Um, so I got more storage in the back here. This setup is pretty sweet. I cannot wait to use this. Now cut to that footage of when I finally get to use this. There's still snow on the ground. It might be a few days if not weeks. just because it's all ledges you know versus like a river or something like that or even you know a boat launch for example you're gonna be right level with the water versus here I got to drop it in so this might get a little sketchy all right time to hop up in Well, this is great. I'm just anchored, jigging a little Senko. Got my legs propped up here. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. So another thing is, this is really roomy, honestly. Compared to a kayak, it's so much more comfortable. Cause I got the padded seat. Oh, it's fantastic. First cast with the new lure on, I got a nice fish. Holy crap. Just kidding. <laughs> wow, <laughs> these freaking, oh. Okay, you guys. So the lake I fish in is like literally overrun by these guys. And for those of you that don't know, these are rock bass. Now these things are all over in this lake and they are so aggressive. We, they're actually decent eating, but I'm not gonna keep this one because I'm not trying to cut up a ton of fish tonight. But I uh, got him on the red eye. Not too bad, I mean, that's a good one. Really good fighters because they use the sides of their bodies, you know, like kites in the wind, almost. Alrighty buddy, we'll see you later. Our sets, come on. Take it, take it, come on. Yep, there he is. Got him. Good little bass. Good bass. Good bass. Is that a smallie? That's what I'm talking about, boys. Yeah, that's a nice smallie. All right. Holy crap. That's a good smallie. That's a good smallie, boys. Oh my gosh. This is a PR. Come on, don't get wrapped, don't get wrapped. No way, boys. Look at that bass. Holy crap. Yeah, boy. Look at that fish. Woo hoo hoo hoo. That is a nice smolly right there, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Boom, got him in that Sanko. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that fish, you guys. That is what I'm talking about, these big Lake Michigan bass. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Best smolly in my life. He was just tapping at it ever so lightly. Finally got him. So I didn't even realize it, but I have a little bass on. He's not little, I mean, he's a good bass. But hey, I didn't even realize I had him on. I was trying to, I saw another fish, so I was trying to go work on him. Oh, my line broke. He's right there. Dang, my line broke. <laughs> Well, there he goes. So that is all you guys, I hope you all enjoyed. So this is my first time like really taking out this boat. And all in all, it was a great boat. For things like rivers and small ponds, I definitely suggest this thing. It's great 
for going through like rapids and it had no trouble with the waves. It was the fact that it sat so high on the top of the water that it gave me trouble, the wind was able to blow me. Now I had a decent anchor on and the anchor worked great and the whole mechanism worked great. So all in all, it wasn't too bad of an experience. As far as that small mouth, that is my, by far, my biggest small mouth. By far, you guys. That thing was at least five pounds and I don't think as I'm editing this video, that the video did it justice. This thing was massive, you guys. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out this long. Subscribe if you're new, guys. Peace out.